the Honorable Prime Minister of India has launched Swachh Bharat, a Bian, mission cleanliness, for making India clean and green. As part of this transformation, Indian railways have started using bio-toilets to ensure zero discharge of human waste from the coaches. Started in 2011, this endeavor will be completed by 2019. Indian Railways decided to convert its vast railway network to be free of human waste discharge from coaches. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And what better place to begin this mission from, than Rameswaram? Rameswaram, a holy and pilgrim town of great importance in India, is located on Pamban Island, separated from mainland India by the Pamban Channel. Pamban Island is connected to mainland India by the century-old engineering marvel, the Pamban Rail Bridge. Rameswaram Junction handles 13 pairs of trains each day, with an average footfall of 35,000. All trains originating and terminating here, consist of green coaches, as all their toilets have been converted to bio-toilets. 1,041 bio-toilets have been fitted in the 276 coaches, running on 15 rakes, handled by this station. Out of these coaches, about 85% are maintained, by Southern Railway. These bio-toilets will ensure that no human waste will be discharged on the tracks between Rameswaram and Manamajurai stations. Therefore, this 112 km section has now been declared, the first, green train corridor, in Indian Railways. A laboratory has been set up at Rameswaram station to test the efficacy of the bio-toilets. Let us look at how, bio-toilets, are revolutionizing the commitment of Indian Railways, to environment conservation. Conventional toilets, in railway coaches, are of the open discharge type. To solve this issue of open discharge, Indian Railways along with the Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO, have jointly developed bio-toilets for passenger coaches. This is unique in railway systems across the world. The bio-toilet tank is slung under the coach frame. This stainless steel tank has six sections in which bio-degradation takes place. Above the tank is the toilet pan. Human waste enters the bio-toilet tank through the P-trap pipe. In this tank, specific bacteria, are inoculated for the process of decomposition. These anaerobic bacteria, biodegrade human waste, to water and gas. This water is fed to a chlorine chamber for further purification. The chlorinated water, is then discharged from the tank. In this revolutionary effort, Indian Railways needs the full cooperation of rail passengers in achieving a clean environment. Passengers need to be aware of how to use bio-toilets and help in the maintenance process. In coaches fitted with bio-toilets, a dustbin has been placed inside the toilet cubicle. 
inside the bio toilet pan. Passengers should not throw in plastic bottles. Should not throw in sanitary napkins. Should not throw in newspapers. Should not throw in poly bags. And should not throw in gtka pouches. All these items should be discarded only in the dustbin placed inside the toilet cubicle. Further, after each use, the bio toilet has to be flushed. The benefits of new technology bio toilets are Clean and aesthetic appearance of the tracks No insects swarming around excreta Discharged water is harmless, and comparable to river water. In its efforts, to ensure a clean and green environment, Indian Railways, seeks the cooperation, and support, of its passengers, in this revolutionary initiative.